Hey there folks, John here with Through My Lens, and today I'm coming to you with an unboxing video. Today we're going to be looking at this Polymer 80 grip module for a SIG P320 Compact. Now, fans of Through My Lens know that I'm a big SIG P320 guy. I've owned the platform almost since uh, SIG brought it to market, uh, so a really long time. Here's a, a pistol that's been on the channel uh, many times. This is my P320 Compact. Uh, that I have uh, had heavily modified. The slide's been milled to accept this uh, Trigicon RMR 2.0. Um, uh, it's got uh, Grey Gun's trigger in it, uh, but you will see also that the grip module has been stippled. Uh, very well stippled uh, uh, by a guy, I forget, don't, don't ask me who did the work. Uh, it's a guy I found on Instagram, but uh, um, you know, a, a, an extra grip module. It, it, what's nice about the P320 platform is it's uh, with this uh, uh, grip module that can be separated from the fire control unit. Uh, you can very easily uh, send this off to somebody who specializes in this work, or do it yourself if you want to. Uh, I'm not really that uh, that handy, so I, I decided to send it off to someone. You can pick up a grip module for forty-five dollars. You can pick up. Uh, 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 you know the tools to do it or send it off. If you send it off it's probably going to run you about a hundred dollars uh, for someone to do a really nice stipple job like what you're seeing here. So it's not a cheap venture. You're probably in uh, at a minimum of about you know hundred fifty dollars by the time you pay shipping both ways and all that good stuff. Um, I have another P320 compact. Uh, this one is an FDE that I've uh, uh, I've always really liked the color on. I've never gotten around to changing or doing anything with the grip module. Um, this is a, a, a secondary gun for me. I don't often carry it. Um, I probably wouldn't use this in a class. I take it to the range maybe once a year. Uh, it pretty much is a home defense gun. Uh, you can see I also have a, a Surefire uh, uh, X300 on here. Uh, but it's, it's pretty much relegated to home defense, and I just I haven't gotten around to getting another grip module and sending it off to get stippled. Uh, but I was on Brownells, and I saw that Polymer 80 was was uh, now offering a a grip module for the P320 Compact, and it looked neat because it looked as though it was already stippled, like you would want it, uh, as if you sent it off to somebody to do uh, stippling. So let's go ahead and unbox and take a look and see what we've got here. Okay, looks like we've got a Palmer 80 uh, sticker here. That's real nice. Uh, here is the grip module. Now I was I'm only vaguely familiar with uh, Palmer 80 because of uh, I believe most of their work being involved with Glock. Uh, this is the first that I'm aware of them doing anything for the SIG platform. Um, go ahead and put this right here. Toss the box aside. Now here is the grip module. <clears throat> now it's uh, I'll, right off the bat, I, I'm looking at the color and this is not the same uh, FDE as what is on. Uh, my SIG P320. Not all uh, FDE colors are the same. This one tends to be much more tan, whereas the grip module on the P320 uh, almost has a greenish tinge to it. Uh, I do think this will look nice with the slide when I put it together, uh, but it is, as you can see, a, a little different uh, shade-wise. Um, not necessarily good or bad, just something to be aware of. Uh, you know, your taste may vary. Um, the uh, the stipple that is on here is really nice. It's very, uh, it's pretty aggressive, not painfully so. It feels very much like sandpaper. It feels very, very sticky, very grippy. Um, it's in all the right spots. Um, very impressive, and it looks like they've even done something with the uh, uh, the mag release here. That's that's a little different than the mag release that's on 
of my other guns. The other guns, of course, have a metal mag release. This one appears to be polymer. But, uh, yeah, you're not going to slide off of that, that's for sure. That's pretty nice. Um, you know, that was... I, I get a little discount off the stuff that I buy from, from Brownells, um, but, uh, you know, I, I think you're, you you can generally always catch a, a coupon code or something from, from Brownells. You can probably get into one of these for between $50 and $60 delivered. Man, my first impressions are, looks really nice for that price. Um, looks like they've relieved the, uh, the, the trigger guard here a little bit. That's interesting. That fits really nice right where my right where my left index finger comes in. That's really nice. Man. They've even got uh, some stippling up through here, which for my hands, you know, I have shorter hands. That's really not going to do anything for me in terms of an index point or providing additional grip. I think it just it may be more cosmetic or anything, but well, first impressions are, are I'm pretty darn impressed. Uh, you know, as I said before, uh, Paul Rady ha has a kind of a reputation of doing uh, pretty inexpensive stuff for the Glock platform. Um, I'm normally not the type that will cheap out or buy, um, you know, anything that's uh, kind of secondary quality or anything. My first impressions are that's that's pretty good quality. My th my thought was. You know, I'm not going to buy a gun from Polymer 80, but a, a grip module, that that seems, yeah, you, you're probably at a pretty low risk thing. It's just plastic. It's, you know, it's it's just pretty much molded plastic. Uh, how, how bad could it be? And, you know, my initial impressions from this unboxing are pretty high. I'm really excited to <clears throat> swap this out with the grip module on my other P320. And give it a try, but it's got uh, it's got some pretty unique features built into it. Uh, I'm I'm pretty impressed. Well, there you have it. That is my unboxing for this uh, this Polymer 80 P320 Compact Grip Module. Um, again, I'm going to do some more testing with this and report back in a full review. But so far, I am you know my uh, my initial expectations are are well exceeded, particularly for the price. I mean, uh, to get something even close to this, I would have had to have paid three times, you know, what I what I paid Brown Owls for this. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up uh, if you enjoyed this video. Take care. God bless. We'll see you in the next one. I hope you've enjoyed this production from the Through My Lens YouTube channel. If you did, please click on the like button and do share the video on social media. If you'd like to see more content like it, please do subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and do check out Through My Lens at www.throughmylens.org.